Good evening, guys. Welcome to tonight's video. So, um, let's talk about health. Now, I want to start off by saying that, obviously, before anybody says it, I am not downplaying the importance of controlling your intake of added sugar, okay? It is extremely, extremely important to health. Okay, now you don't have to cut it out totally, but it is recommended that it is no more than 5% of your total calorie intake a day. Okay, now, like I say, I'm not downplaying the importance of this. This is so important for health. However, it is a small piece of a very large puzzle. And I almost feel that especially at the moment, people are so obsessed about sugar that they forget about or maybe put less importance on all the other aspects of health, okay? Now, what do I mean by this? What I mean is that you can cut sugar out, but if you eat too much food still in general, if you have excess body fat, if you don't exercise enough, like, for example, like your formal uh, forms of exercise, like running, going to the gym, sports, if you are sedentary during the day, uh, this is different. This is like your activity throughout the day as well, okay? If you are chronically stressed, if you have insufficient time and quality of sleep, and I honestly believe that these last two, stress and sleep, are so sort of underrated in terms of health and body composition, okay? Um, if you smoke, if you get too much sun exposure, if you drink excessively, any combination of all of these even if you cut out sugar, is going to massively increase both your likelihood of being obese and uh, the sort of the development of a multitude of metabolic disorders, cardiovascular disease, and some cancers, okay? So, what I really want to say is that, again, I'm not downplaying the importance of controlling your added sugar intake because it is so important. But like I say, it's a small piece of a very large puzzle. And I mean, to make light of a serious subject, I saw some guy follow on Instagram, which where I got the inspiration for this post. Uh, he is at Physiqueonomics, if you want to follow him. Very good. I like a lot of his stuff. But he, you know, he had people say to him things like, um, I don't eat meat, but I smoke. And it's like, right, okay. And then you've got, you know, instances like, well, I don't eat gluten. But then you find out that they sleep five hours a night and they're stressed to the max 24-7. And it's like, gluten's probably not your problem. And then, you know, you get things like, I don't eat any sugar at all because it's toxic. But yet the same people go out at the weekend and drink half their body weight in alcohol. And it's like, you know. And like I say, it's making light of a, you know, a serious sort of thing. But... What I want to get across is that health is multifactorial and it's about getting all of the things I've listed today to a good level, okay? And it's about controlling all of them. So like I say, not downplaying the importance of, I'm going to say this so many times just to get the point across, no doubt someone will still say that, you know, why are you telling people to eat sugar? That's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm not downplaying the importance of controlling your added sugar intake. I'm just saying that there is so much more to optimal health than just this. So don't put so much onto this so you forget about everything else. Okay? And that's it. Hopefully you got some value from that. If you did, please feel free to hit the like, love, la, 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 like, love, ha, ha, wow. Because again, it just put, pushes it out to more people, which is obviously my goal. Um, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you on the next video.